Now before we get started, for those of you looking to help further develop the Epic Live Wallpaper app, make sure to check out my Patreon, where all subscribers will always receive free monthly gems. So here's a massive shout out to all of these awesome supporters. Now on to our main event. Joining our ever growing list of awesome live wallpapers and unique home screen setups, this time with a request score over a whopping 56,000, straight from Digimon, I bring you the 7 Demon Lords. And this one took a heck of a lot of time to put together. With each individual characters needing to be repositioned so they will all fit perfectly within our phone's display. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do. So here you have it, all 7 of the demon lords animated right on our screens. It's definitely a super busy backdrop, but there's still some key areas that you could use to add in your own custom home screen elements. Now of course, as always, make sure to submit your live wallpaper requests right within the epic live wallpaper app itself and boost any that you guys want to see next higher up the list. So here they are, on a purple and white themed home screen, all 7 of the Digimon Demon Lords. Now despite managing to squeeze so many characters all on screen at once, I've made sure to leave plenty of space in the top left and bottom right corners for you guys all to use. Here for my home screen setup, I've gone for an increasing stacked look for the app icons which also allowed me to squeeze in a compact date and time widget. Oh and as for at the top of the screen, a quick access music indicator with media controls. Overall, it's a fairly simple look to pull off and shouldn't take you that long to achieve. Now to replicate this look on your Android phones, you're going to need Nova Launcher, KWGT and as an optional finish, either Hex Installer or One Shade. But don't worry, I'll leave links down below for everything that you guys are going to possibly need. So before we get started, make sure to smash that like button as it's free and it will definitely help out the channel. So let's jump right into it with some Nova Launcher tweaks. Firstly, with cleaning up our notification panel. For this, within Nova Launcher settings, just simply head to the look and feel section and then disable show notification bar. After which, we're going to do a couple little tweaks within the home screen section. So once you're here, starting right at the top, Firstly, we're going to set the desktop grid to 9 down and 4 across. And as for the icon layout, we want to first disable labeling as well as decrease the icon size. And as a final tweak here, we're also going to disable the dock. But just before we leave, make sure to scroll further down the page and under advanced options, you want to make sure you toggle on widget overlap as well as overlap when placing. These are going to help us when we're repositioning the home screen widgets. Now before we go any further, let's grab ourselves this awesome live wallpaper. For this, just simply head over to my custom collection app, Epic Live Wallpapers and you'll find it there. And remember, if you want me to animate one of your favourite images, make sure to submit it right within the app itself. And of course, don't forget to boost it higher up the list. And every week, I'll be making the number one ranked request. Next up, let's grab ourselves these premium transparent purple icons coming courtesy of the Murazaki Purple Pack. Just simply head over to Nova Launcher's look and feel section and apply the pack as your system icons. And once done, goes without saying, just simply load in all of your app icons to the home screen until you have something that looks like this. And after which, let's move on to our KWGT widgets. First up being the super compact date and time indicator, straight from the KWGT rainbow pack is widget 26. From your widget draw, just simply load in a KWGT layout to your home screen and then you want to resize it so it looks something like this. Now at this point, because it is overlapping the home screen app icons, what we're going to do is also long press it and select the option to send it to the back. 
placing it behind our icons. Now within KWGT itself, all we're really going to do with this widget is simply adjust its size. For this, all you have to do is head over to the layer tab and adjust the scale option. And to make this super easy for you, make sure to use the tick boxes on the right hand side to select scale and then hit the calculator button in the top right of your screens, allowing you to visually see the changes live on screen. Here for my screen size, I went for a setting of 85.1. And of course, make sure to hit save before you leave. This simplistic music indicator and quick access music controls straight from the ever popular mini music player pack is widget 57. Now here, we're going to repeat exactly the same steps as we did in the first widget. So let's start things off by loading in a KWGT layout to our home screen, resize it so it looks like this, and within the KWGT settings itself, just simply head over to the layer tab, use the tick boxes and then adjust the widget size. For this one, personally I went for a setting of 41.4. And of course, just like before, make sure to hit save before you leave. And now wrapping up the setup, we're using Hex Installer. This is going to give you a nice AMOLED friendly black backdrop with the colors of the theme splashed across your whole system, including the notification panel. Just use the color codes that I'm showing on screen. Or alternatively, you can get a similar result using the app OneShade. Now if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next one. And as for your live wallpaper requests, make sure to boost them right within the epic live wallpaper app itself. See you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.